All right, Greenwood Stocks back once again. We are talking about a few different things, process, scans, back testing, research, what stocks we're looking at, what stocks we like. And so um, right now, um, it's all about right now for me, the process and trying to get to the routine for predictable outcomes. So it's just like any job, any business, you know, you want to have uh, methods and systems that you can measure and that you can get predictable outcomes. So, uh, so right now, I mean, the process for me is just looking at what the market's doing, looking at the biggest overall leaders, you know, the biggest leaders are going to show you where the market's at. So if you got thousand percent, 2000 percent, 3000 percent runners weekly, monthly, you know, you're going to have some thousand percenters. You're going to have some multi hundred percenters. You're going to have, you know, big market moves. And like I said, like we said last time, uh, it's, it's a big caps, the small caps, and then the OTC. So, um, the process for me is just really, uh, you know, this year is just going to be a year of investing because I'm looking at a lot of, uh, triple zero stocks that have potential to go to pennies and dollars. So, you know, if I can just get, if, if I can put my money in, and make a, a solid investment and get uh, 10x, 50x, 100x return, you know, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do. That's that's how the rich get rich, you know. Uh, you know, I was looking where Jeff Bezos sold Amazon for like 20% of the company for like $50 million as a startup. I mean, that's, 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 that's really what you're looking for when you look, when you see these triple zero stocks. As you see on the screen, triple zero, double zero. So uh, scanning, back testing, what's playing out in the market, you know? And right now, just like I said, another recap, what's playing out, no volume, to some volume, um, you know, and then we got situations where um, I call it the bullish breaking, um, you know, and that's been, been playing out quite a bit. And, uh, you know, it's when you have a big pullback, uh, followed by a long green bar uh, that breaks a new high. So uh, that's what I'm seeing playing out in the market and then just doing the research. Uh, the research is basically where the buzz is, who's on Reddit, who who are the people that are going to be pumping the next stock? Uh, what 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 stock is everybody getting behind? It, it's what stock is is creating a movement? You know what stock is getting getting the biggest buzz. So, um, like I said, I'll, I'll go a little bit more into my bullish breaking pattern that I've been uh, that I've been looking at. It's it's actually a pretty uh, it's it's a pretty common and pretty reliable strategy. But I've just been seeing it play out a lot, and actually seeing the uh, seeing it play out, and you know on on, on more than one occasion is uh is encouraging because then you can say all right no matter how much money big big account small account you, you'll be able to put your money in here and get a decent return so this is one this is one of them you know bullish and engulf, bullish engulfing actually as well so i mean you get this resistance created and then boom you get an explosion up um you know we also have it on um on a, a, a couple more stocks as well, uh, ALF. And like, I don't really give away these secrets much, but uh, yeah, you see this, you see this long wick, you see this long pullback. As soon as it breaks this resistance, you see a big, huge pop. And then not only that, you see a big pop, you see another, a, another example of this, this bullish uh, Harami engulfing, and then you know, of course, volume is 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 telling the story. So, uh, for me, like I said, getting to a process that you can repeat over and over, routine scanning every single day, back testing what patterns are playing out every single day in the market, and then researching who's on Twitter, who's on Reddit, who's on all of these different resources that you can see uh, how uh, the stock picks and proving track records. Uh, that are giving you opportunities for successful trades. And Intrinsic, you can let us know what's on your mind. 
Yeah, yeah. As far as far as on my end, what I've been trying to do here lately is really just um, kind of like what you were covering earlier is kind of, you know, scanning and, and having a routine and also um, something to help me is trading what I see. Like, you know, look, looking at the news, you know, being on social media, but once I identify something that has a lot of hype behind it, then actually trading what I see from the stock and not just necessarily buying it because there is a lot of hype. Because I, I realized for me, is that if, if a stock has a lot of hype behind the volumes coming in, if you can if you can catch it and trade what you see, you know, buying on support, especially with me trading more OTCs here lately, um, what I've noticed is since the OTC market sold off um, overall in general, now, now you're catching a lot of cool opportunities to buy a stock that has movement behind it, that's on support. And, you know, like I said, just, and for me, buying on support just eliminates some of the risk. You can go in with a little bit more size because you do know, you know, you can kind of look at it as if it, if it break if it breaks support, then – you know, at least at that point, you know, you can you can get out and try to, you know, scale back in once it's established to support again. But those that's pretty much how I, I've been looking at it is like just really having a, a laser focus and um, knowing what I'm looking for and really um, just trading what I see. Awesome. And I was drawing trend lines for you guys. Uh, we have uh, advanced courses on drawing trend lines, support and resistance. So be sure you ask about that. Uh, but it, yeah, any, I'm looking at HPIL. Uh, I got in, we, we got hundred percent out of that so far. Glory to God. <laughs> um, you see that, uh, you know, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.43 is where, where we got in right here on a, on a, on a, actually a red day, uh, just cause a, a reputable source were, was, uh, giving them a lot of credit. But again, if you're looking technically, Look at look at the long term resistance. You see you see a you see a one two three, basically a quadruple top. Now, keep in mind, like I said, pay attention to volume. That's that's the fourth principle in our five steps to trading hot stocks profitably. Okay, that's the fourth principle. You have to pay attention to volume. First volume pop is when you can always get in. Okay, so. I mean, this is triple zero stock and it goes to, to double zero. So you're 10x in your money right here. And then look at the, the 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 next one was just a pop and a pullback, but the rest of these are being sustained. So when you get sustained volume, you're going to get sustained price action. And and look look at the levels of of volume that are coming in from the very first time that this stock popped until now until uh this last trading day so you get you're getting bigger and bigger volume you're getting bigger and bigger volume you know volume volume it, it waxed and waned it waxed and waned but this last time you see these volume bars fill out that's why i call vo volume filling in when you when you see bars that are around the same level and volume keeps coming in that lets you know that the interest is there so that's another way to uh, to uh, research and, uh, and and back test because this volume is going to always tell the story. So again, when you see this long-term resistance, once it finally breaks through this long-term resistance, support uh, resi resistance becomes support, you can get an another run-up. So we got in here uh, two trading days ago at uh, 0043, and now we're at... Um, at 009 to almost to a penny, you know, so. And, and see, and that was a beautiful entry right there just because you can easily define your risk because you, as you can see, it already broke resistance. So you already know once it breaks resistance, then that turns into support. So you can kind of easily, you know, uh, determine your risk and, you know, go in as heavy as you feel like you need to, to be able to get in there because it's a super high probability once it breaks out like that. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good point. So, let, 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 let's just see where we are now. We, we've been talking about uh, Brand, another uh, wizard in the, or expert in the, uh, in the Discord. Um, we, we, we talked about scanning for, for, I call it BDD, volume differential divergence. So, uh, you know, this is why I like triple zero stock so much. Um, if you if you can just see when a stock finally breaks a billion finally breaks a billion shares, if you just get in and invest right here now 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 you can take a quick trade. You know there's there's great potential right there. But 
the reason I the reason I like triple zero stocks is because there's there's a triple zero stock every single month giving somebody a hundred x return. Think about a hundred x return. Okay, so let's look at at where it is point zero 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 five. Point zero zero zero. What is my thing doing this? Five. Okay. That's that. That's where we started right here. We started at triple zero five on the on the first the first volume day was triple zero five. All right, and now you got double zero nine. So double zero nine divided by. Let's just say you got in late that day. 0. 0.0008, okay? 11X return, you know, from, you know, from February till now. And, and, and really not even that because, you know, we, we, we got another huge dip before, before it got volume. So, you know, from April till now, you know, you can 10X your money. So that's why I like triple zero stocks. Uh, and I, I have about 10 in my portfolio right now that are actually legitimate companies. They got products on Amazon. It's where the research comes in to due diligence. They got, they, they got products on eBay and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, you know, today is just about, uh, you know, getting a process that you can repeat and get, um, predictable results. It's just, like I said, it's like any business, any industry, any uh, any um, in any sector, anything in life, you know, whether you're talking about um, you know social skills or technical skills or financial skills, you want something that you can get data on that you can repeat over and over and over. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. Just encourage y'all to get always have a trading plan, always get a process, and always get stats on what you're doing. You got anything else to add? Um, yeah, just to reiterate what you said, yeah, just the, the best thing to really to become profitable quickly is to have a process that you can repeat and a process that you that you understand. I mean, it has to make sense to you if it doesn't make sense to anyone else. And um, and just have have your have your rules and um and just and grade yourself not on how much money you make on the trade, but how well you executed your plan. You know what I mean? Because that's gonna be key because Cause the profits will go up and down, but I mean, if you, if you can really hone in and execute your plan every time, you know, o over the long term, you're going to be profitable no matter what, if you got a system that's working. Yeah, that, that's a good point. I always focus on being right. Focus on percentages and being right. Not how much money you're making, because if you can get a system where you're constantly hitting 20%, 50%, even, even just on, just winning trades in general, if you can have a, a, you can have one percent if you can be green on 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 trades more often than not the money's going to come you know regardless so it's like in basketball or sports you know when, once you get your fundamentals down then you can do all the cool looking you know stunts and and the rattle dallas stuff but when you get the fundamentals down you get your system down and everything else take care of itself so that's all we got for tonight hope we helped you hope we um offered lots of value uh, you can DM us, you can uh, email, text, give us a shot if you got any questions, what you would like to see in the future, and we will see you on the green side.